learners, today we are going to read a fable story for our listening skills and comprehension. Okay, before we even start the story, I need you to answer these following questions submitted into Edmodo. There's a quiz for prior knowledge. Now, look at the picture in front of you. What do you see? How many animals do you see on the picture? State the animals you see. Where do you think they are? What are they doing? If they dig it, what are they digging for? Why do you think the rabbit is laughing? And what do you think is going to happen? Before we read instructions, follow the story with your while listening toss provided hard copy downloaded from a Moodle library um, a resource. I have already uploaded the resource uh, will be on the description box of this video. Now let's read. The Tortoise Song Long ago, long, long ago, a terrible drought dried up all the streams and rivers, whales and springs. It turned the world into a dusty desert. Termites grappled up every leaf and blade of grass and the animals were forced to chew on dry twigs that just to stay alive. Because life was so hard, animals meant to talk about the problem. They talked and talked and talked and talked until eventually they all agreed that the way to find water was to dig a deep whale. Only here refused to take part. No, your plan won't work, he said, so I won't waste my time digging. Then you, we won't share our water with you, said the other animals. The hare just laughed, but the other animals were sure their plan would work. So the same day the animals went down the valley where the grounds was at its lowest. The lion began digging a hole, then one after the other. The animals entered the hole to dig, except the hare and the turtles. The hare just sat around laughing, and he didn't want to dig, and nobody forced him to. But it was different for the turtles. When she creeped along to try and take her turn, the others would not let her dig. No, turtles, they said. You are just too slow. You waste too much of our time. Months passed and the husband are lots and lots of digging. At the at the, the least of the hole was deep. But there was still no sign of water. <laughs> I told you, laughed the hay. There was no water down there. He's right, he said the warthog to the zebra. Let's just give up. No, let's carry on. We'll find water, said Turtles. You wish, laughed the hare. One each day, Turtles watched quietly as the other animals took turns to dig. More time passed and more digging was done, but there was no sign of water. One baking hot day, when the animals lay exhausted in the hot sun near the deep dry hole, Tutus again asked if she could have a turn to dig. None of the animals answered her. Some of them were too tired and miserable to care. Most of them were just lay, just lay sweating and mourning in their sleep. Tutus walked slowly over the hole and started to dig. The soil, was, the soil was so hard as rock, but she kept on scratching away, flinging the dry sand behind her. I'm scratching, I'm scratching. Find the water, she dug. 
it was not it's not easy but it will be worth it soon she made up a little song to help her keep digging the tortoise song and sang it over and over i'm scratching i'm scratching i'm scratching for water i'll dig i'll dig i will find it after some time the hare came scrolling by when he heard these words drifting out of the hole he burst out laughing this this woke up the other animals with uh, with an angry roar lion leaped into the hole picked up turtles and flinged her onto the mud of soil next to the hole oh she cried she landed with with a thump it's not fair i will i also want to take don't waste our time play with the soul next to the, the hole said lion so sharply and made the turtles cry some of the animals felt so sorry for the brave little turtles give her a chance pleaded bushback yes said giraffe let her try without a word the lion climbed down the hole and made a way for the turtles slowly she wiped away her t- wiped away her tears and climbed back down into the hole again she started digging and singing i'm scratching i'm scratching i'm scratching for water i'll dig i'll dig i'll dig i'll for it hare and monkey rolled about laughing and lion threw back his mere his mere and smiled i told you it, it was a waste of time he said ryan stumped forward to his peer inside the hole when suddenly look a lump of water soil f- flowed out of the hole hitting his face be careful of my eyes he shouted covering his face and the other animals saw the wa- the soil was wet water they shouted turtles has found the water the animals rushed forward trying to reach the whale where the water was rising up the big animals sh- shuffled their small friends out of the way but mighty animal was bigger than any uh, than all of the others in a few huge slumps he drank all of the water and started to dig for more the other animals could could only moan and cry or squeeze the water soil for a tr- tiny drop of water elephant dug hard through the clump and clump of uh, of soil soon through the uh, though the animals noticed there was that with each throw the soil was getting drier until eventually the soil was completely dry the animals watched sadly slowly one by one they turned towards turtles who sat a little way away elephant shouted rhino get out turtles turtles the animal shouted loudly please help us so the turtles slowly climbed back down into the hole where she began to dig and sang her song again i'm scratching and scratching and scratching for water i'll dig dig i will find it this time the others joined in too she's scratching she's scratching scratching for water it wasn't long before the turtles started throwing and throwing wet soil out of the hole then she stopped scratching the soil and moved away the clean cold water gobbled as the rose up to fill the way the well the animals sang and danced drank as much water as they wanted even the hare joined in because everyone was so happy they forgot to chase them away the turtles have saved them all question time post listening thoughts where were the animals living at why were the animals so happy at the end 
why were they sad in the first place? Which animal found the water? Well, did the animals think this animal will find it? And why not? What's the reason? What's the lesson did we learn from this story? I really hope you enjoyed that story. Now, for our homework. At the end of the term, it would be great to report in this worksheet that I require from you at, at Moodle, available at Moodle Library for Resources. Link will be found below um, the video. And thank you so much for joining us for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed the story, listen, and your formal assessments will be found on Edmodo. Have a lovely day, learners. Bye.